is the electron the wave theory says okay blue works fine let's learn deal with why it did not work with the red but let's say blue works so wave theory says gradually and gradually you should take this energy because waves is not a full concentration of energy wave is like gradually building up the energy so wave theory says as i try to turn on the torch it should take energy take energy take energy when it has enough of three electron volts it should go but then it goes instantaneously so now wave theory fails sorry i'm really sick i have cold in summer okay instantaneously happens wave theory fails photon theory says all it needs is three electron volts the very first photon came in maybe the blue color light photon what are you waiting for just run away 10 to the power minus 9 seconds or 10 to the power minus 10 seconds explainable okay clear some clear now let's see the stopping potential abhiraj is also suffering from cold yeah it's change of weather and my problem is i don't take medicine so that takes a little longer to fix yeah i don't believe in medical science i don't know why but whatever right so now now look at this so what we are saying is we if you had this graph so so we saw that the stopping potential depends completely on the frequency it doesn't depend on intensity and all that, right but now now wave theory says if this was the intensity of light falling in here electron was emitted and two cells were able to stop it if i increase the intensity of light the electron has more energy you got to apply more batteries here stopping potential should increase but what we see here is the different intensity actually does this so this was a curve another intensity is this but the stopping potential never changes this is really weird because i'm giving more energy more intensity is more energy again it fails with the stopping potential it fails everywhere honestly it fails everywhere but now we are saying stopping potential only depends on the photon's frequency because that is the energy minus the work function is divided by e divided by e is the the stopping potential now it purely depends on the frequency of light it doesn't depend on intensity more intensity is more photons that's all it doesn't mean more energy now i'm i'm giving you one minute or maybe 30 seconds each slide here yeah so just go through this whichever is not clear i'll, I'll explain that i'm just showing these slides to are you really sure there are no dots because i'm going very fast here are you sure there are no dots so then let me ask a few questions what happens if i increase the intensity of light let me complete the question intensity goes up how does it affect the current everybody type on the chat box current ko kya hoga like if i increase the intensity how does the affect how does it affect the abhiraj you right every student has to answer here please sai kumar you right yeah yeah arvind you right so it's making sense nahi nahi don't no wave no wave atri no wave wave is gone i was just telling you it fails to explain it only use the photons here grishma you right arvind you right atri just from photon perspective no 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 nina please carefully intensity what nina more intensity means what no we are talking of current at three not not energy so what happens to the current current is the number of electrons number of electrons uh -huh. so did you study photoelectric effects abhiraj there in your chemistry class did you study photoelectric effect <laughs> yeah three you're right so then more intensity means more number of photons falling on the surface more electrons will go out more electrons mean more current current is the rate of flow of charge that's it now what is the effect of intensity on stopping potential what is the effect of intensity on stopping potential everybody answer this so if i'm increasing the intensity of light what happens to the stopping potential the one where no current flows that potential 
<coughs> will it increase reduce or remain the same it is not going to be affected as most of you have said it remains the same it doesn't depend it only depends on the frequency like atri is also saying now okay let's do more i had uh, let's say I try to do photoelectric effect with green color light green color light failed Should I try red light or should I try blue light? You have to have these things on your fingertips So should I my next step should be should I try red or should I go towards blue? Take a psychoma, right? Atri think again think over now obviously the answer is the other way but atri think over why it is not abhiraj you're right grishma you're right do i try red as a next step or do i try blue yes atri yes you're right but which one is it then yeah yeah arvind you're right yes 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 so frequency has to be higher so as rukaya is also saying this frequency is higher so you got to try the blue color now you don't try red because if it green fails blue red will definitely fail okay so now now let's do another thingy let's say i tried uh, blue and it succeeds right blue i tried and it succeeds it emits out the electrons from some some material <coughs> will ultraviolet should i try with ultraviolet or can, i can say definitely that will fail will it fail will it pass or i have to try and see will it fail will it pass or will it do i have to try can i say with confidence will it fail pass or try yes i come are you right no no nina try try to think over again I mean, try means nothing is sure. Yeah, Abhiraj, the question is, I know that this material, if I give blue photon, it succeeds. I know this, I have done the experiment. I know the blue light is succeeding. It knocks out an electron. So what can I say about ultraviolet? Can it definitely say it will fail? Can it definitely say it will pass? Or I don't know and I have to try and see if it fails or passes. Yeah, Abhiraj, you're right. Nina, you're right. Yes, Rukaya, you're right. See, these are the questions you don't get in the exam, but these are the questions that make you understand the concept out there. Arvind Thakur, think again. Grishma, you're right. Aviraj, you're right. Deko, if this passes, ultraviolet is more frequency anyways, right? It is more frequency. If it is more frequency, if blue passes, this has more energy anyways, right? More energy. Because remember, energy of a photon is HF. If blue passes, anything more than blue is going to pass anyways. You don't even have to try. You can say with confidence that this will pass. Now, what about what about green? If I know blue succeeds with green, can I say it will fail? Can I say it will pass? Or do should I try? I don't know. I have to try maybe. I, I don't know. Tell me. With green, can I say it will fail, pass, or try? Yeah, Grishma, you're right. Sai Kumar, think again. Rukaya, you're right. Nina, think again. Arvind, you're right. Think, think, think. Nina, you're right. See, you've got to try that. You don't know. All we are saying is blue is succeeding. I don't know if this was fine, fine or not, or maybe the red was fine or not right i don't know i don't know maybe red was successful and that is why blue is successful so anything beyond red will succeed so i don't know you got to try that no 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 see see nina that's right nina is saying mostly it will fail because green light doesn't have energy to do photoelectric effect i'm not talking of what happens or not i'm talking like from logic like logical ability like in cat exam let's say right so so then we are saying okay if this fails based on purely theoretical perspective not from practical perspective looking at einstein equation i cannot say anything about green it may fail it may pass i have to try that okay now because i don't know blue was the the minimum thing it needed or maybe red was the minimum thing maybe radio wave was the, was the minimum thing i don't know anything about it 
but the other side of the extreme i'm sure everything will succeed clear to everybody clear clear or not clear clear okay so now can you tell me <coughs> uh this is another thing so do uh, no nobody has studied light in details for this so far right we have not done that yeah i was trying to cover something else no what was i trying to cover <laughs> yeah no no i'll not cover it now because it is going to be confusing unnecessary i was trying to cover uncertainty here so that i can explain things a little more but uncertainty principle i'll cover whenever the syllabus comes in uh, to that point and then i will cover only what is required in the syllabus nothing more nothing less okay i have five minutes here any doubts now because students don't ask a doubts and I'm, I'm not sure if everything is clear 10 students in the class any question that you have any question that you have anything that is not clear so far when do we study x-rays we study x-rays when we like like in what ways right generation of x-rays no yeah abiraj one second so three x-rays let me see the the schedule here you mean uh, generation of x-rays that's what you're talking about no yeah let me see let me see i'll reply okay now abiraj intensity is oh applications yeah i'll check i'll check uh no nina nina that is not a relevant statement so so stay tuned abira uh, nina you will get the answer abiraj has asked a similar question based on intensity so nina listen here you will get it okay so abiraj is saying can you explain intensity one more time so <coughs> work per unit time or energy per unit time is what you call power Okay, now how much energy is falling? The, see, this is light energy, right? Falling per second, that is power. But then I'm not interested in power only because see, what is the, what is, how much power do I get if I install the solar panel? Take that example. Let's say I, I ask you blindly, or, or tell me Abiraj, how much power will I get if I install the solar panel? You cannot tell me because is the solar panel, solar panel this big or is it this big? The amount of energy per unit time I get depends on how big the area I'm trying to collect it, right? So I'm trying to collect something. How big is my container? It depends on the container. So Nina says this is big. Yeah, whatever that is, right? So intensity is basically now we are trying to bring in the area into consideration. Intensity is the amount of power per unit area. Okay, that is the amount of energy you get or the work you get per unit time per second per square meter and that makes more sense now because i can say uh, on this thingy i am getting thousand joules per second per square meter if i need more energy per second i can increase the area now double the area i'll get 2000 square joules 2000 joules per second or i can wait more and I can keep the same intensity. I can wait more. I'll get more energy, right? Do you, do you understand now, Abhiraj? Okay. Now, from the photo photons perspective, let's see how this this is applicable. Now, one photon, one photon, one photon has energy of h times the frequency. <laughs> if I want more intensity, what do I do? I throw more photons per unit time, per unit area. Right. So the intensity from photons perspective is more number of photons. Per unit time, per unit area. That is what we are talking about because energy is fixed. It doesn't change for the photon. I need more intensity here. Throw more photons per second per square meter. Okay. So now, Ninad, as you're saying, how does it change with WebGear? It doesn't depend on WebGear. Anything can have more intensity. It only depends on how many photons are you throwing. So red light may have more intensity than blue light. 
a blue light may have more intensity than red light depends on how bright your bulb is depends on the brightness of the bulb okay clear everybody is clear on that i request everybody to read the pdf document clearly it is a very good document you're ignoring and you're losing opportunity to learn something very, very i mean in very short in, in brief over there uh, Okay, Arvind is asking a good question. I will actually copy here so that we can read it together. It seems like a good question. And every question is a good question, by the way. Okay. So when we say about excitation of electrons to higher orbit, and when it comes back, it emits light. Now for this type of excitation, energy can be like we say any. No, it cannot be any. No, it has to be, see, it has to have. So let's say this is electron. And then it needs 10.8 electron volts here. If you take a photon with two electron volts, that doesn't help it. It needs exactly 10.8 electron volts because it has to come here. It doesn't need more, it doesn't need less. It ne exactly needs that much of energy. Right, so it has to have exactly that much of energy. Nothing more, nothing less will work. Because if it has more, where will it store it? It is not a storage, it cannot store energy. It's not a capacitor, it's not an inductor, it's not a water drum where it can store things. So it has to use it. Modern physics may kya ho gaya? momentum and radiation of electric photons ho gaya. Photoelectric effect is going on. Um, let me see. I'll I'll assign one of the assignments now. Uh, photoelectric effect ho gaya. started. Next class will complete photoelectric effect. Okay, we're going to complete that. Yes, yes, Arvind Thakur, your statement is right. It needs a particular frequency of light. Exactly right, yeah. <laughs> and then you see, like, like uh, when it goes back, it, it releases particular frequencies. And that is why we saw the line spectrum there, right? We didn't see the continuous spectrum. We saw the lines in there, right? So, so there are different lines that you can have. It's not continuous. So level one, two, three, four, five, right? So it can have five times five minus one divided by two. That is ten different possible waves. So when you see the spectrum there, you will exactly have ten lines. Uh, Ninard is really into theory of relativity, though. So let's do it next week, maybe. Uh, yeah, next week we can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it on WhatsApp. I promise you need not personally uh, remind me on the today's what uh, what day is it today? Thursday, no? Huh, so next Thursday go we will do that. Take a pakka wala promise, but I'm not going to make you expert in that. I'm just going to give you 15 to 20 minutes of overview. That is not going to be mathematical. That is going to be overview. Totally, I need six, seven hours of your time to do that. So I'll give you overview. I will advise students not to attend if you get confused with that because theory of relativity is really confusing in the sense if you try to apply in the real world around you it doesn't make sense it's like empty vessel makes more noise right 15 to 20 minutes is going to give you partial knowledge that might confuse you this that's just a disclaimer place <clears throat>